free and lively with education. Good day, learners! I hope everybody is still active and enjoying their studies even in this time of pandemic. Are you ready for today's learning? But before that, let us put ourselves in the mighty presence of the Lord. Please bow your heads and let us pray. Dear Jesus, please show me how to spend this day sharing your love in every way. Help me to be kind to everyone to play and love and have lots of fun, shining your light and giving your grace, sharing your joy with a smile on my face. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. I am Teacher Jubel. Your daily teacher. Make sure you have your learning packets to guide you for our today's lesson. So let's start. Our target milk is to prepare the raw materials. Check the availability of raw materials according to our required food processing method. And clean and wash raw materials. This time, let's have an activity entitled, Name That Thing. For me to know if you still remember the lesson that we have discussed last time. All you have to do is to name the following equipment, tools, and utensils. You have 5 seconds to answer each item. Number 1. Correct answer is very good non-stick pan. Number two. Cinco, cuatro, tres, dos, uno. The correct answer is mixing bowl. Very good. Number three. Cinco, cuatro, tres, dos, uno. That is correct. Measuring glass. Number four. Cinco, cuatro, tres, dos, uno. And the correct answer is exactly measuring cups. And for number five. The correct answer is very good pH meter. Wow, it looks like you really learned from our previous lesson. Now, to test your prior knowledge in our topic, kindly answer my questions. Class, what helps you remember the time of the year when fruits and vegetables are abundant? Exactly! Philippine fruit calendar helps us to remember the time of the year when fruits and vegetables are abundant. What do you use to strain the fruits and vegetables after washing? Very good! A colander is a kitchen utensil used to strain foods such as fruits or vegetables. What is used to peel the fruits and vegetables? Aside from a vegetable peeler, you got it right. Paring knife. Many cooks use paring knives to peel or cut fruits and vegetables into small pieces or to carry out other similar precision work. Among the following fruits, what should be cut off lengthwise and its seed and pith be removed? That is correct. The correct answer is apple. What should you remove in a pineapple before slicing it? 
Exactly right! Remove the eyes before slicing it. Good job, learners! Our lesson for today is about preparation of the raw ingredients of concentrated sugar mixture. This lesson will focus on the preparation of raw materials in processing food by sugar concentration. This includes checking their availability, sorting, grading, cleaning, and washing them. The most common raw materials in sugar concentration are ripe fruits and sugar. Refined sugar is recommended for this method. Examples of fruits that can be used are mango, guava, banana, orange, tomato, jackfruit, omias, santol, and papaya. Food can be processed in various methods to preserve the freshness and quality. That includes the appearance, odor, taste, and texture. John Jelly, marmalade, and fruit preserves are some of the products in sugar concentration. Jelly is a soft, elastic, transparent food made from fruit juice boiled with sugar. Jam is a food made by boiling fruit pulp with sugar until it becomes thick. Marmalade is a clear, jelly-like mixture in which shreds or thin slices of fruit peels are suspended. Preserves are whole fruits or vegetables cooked in thick syrup until clear, plump, or somewhat translucent. And now I have here a video clip on how to slice a mango. All you have to do is to watch this. Hi, I'm health eating specialist Dan Merrick from Whole Foods Market. And today we're going to show you how to cut a mango. There are several different varieties of mangoes depending on the season. Today we'll be using the Atza Ufo mango from Mexico. It's easy to say. Say it with me. Atza Ufo. The Atza Ufo is a small mango known for its buttery texture and almost no stringy fibers. You know when the Atza Ufo is ripe, when it turns from that dark green to this kind of golden yellow. You can also give it a slight squeeze. If it has a little give, it's ripe and ready to eat. So let's cut our mango. We're gonna start first by looking for our oblong pit that will go through the center. If you actually look for the eye, you wanna cut about a half an inch on the side of that. Cut one side off, flip it around, and another half an inch from the eye to have both equal sides. Once you have your cheeks, you can score the mango, making sure not to cut through the skin. Repeat the process, making the hatch marks. And then simply fold the mango inside out. You can pull the pieces off or cut them off and use them in all kinds of other things, from mango salsas to lassies. You can bake them off for a great dessert. You can also look on our website, wholefoodsmarket.com, for other great recipes using mango. From the video you have watched, you can get some ideas on how to do your performance task later. Having the raw ingredients is vital in making concentrated sugar mixture. Here are some important reminders that you should remember on preparing the raw ingredients for concentrated sugar mixture. First is understanding the Philippine fruit calendar. Remembering when certain fruits and vegetables are abundant is a must to help you manage your supplies in the kitchen. Here in the Philippines, there are a lot of fruits but most are only available in certain seasons. The only fruits available all year round are Bananas, papayas, and pomelo. Some fruits are seasonal like mango, in season from March to June, and, and pineapple, in season from May to July. The next is proper washing of fruits and vegetables.
first, wash the produce in cold running tap water to remove excess dirt and the residue. Second, strain with a colander. Third, if there is a firm surface such as on apples or potatoes, the surface can be scrubbed with a brush. Do not wash fruits or vegetables with detergents or soap. And cut away any damaged or bruised areas to prevent foodborne bacteria from contaminating the rest of the bunch. Peeling, slicing, and chopping the ingredients according to the size and shapes needed for the recipe. For peeling, cut off the top and the bottom part of the vegetable or fruit. Hold the vegetable with your non-dominant hand. Scrape the skin thinly with a vegetable peeler or paring knife. And be careful not to peel the meat of the vegetable or fruit. For slicing, Trim off the edges and skin if necessary. For fruits like strawberry, trim off the leaves and bruises. For pineapples, remove the eyes and cut lengthwise. For apples, cut lengthwise and trim off the seed and teeth. And for mangoes, cut off the sides of the teeth. Time. Are you familiar with the scientific name of some fruits? Great! But first, what is a scientific name? That's right. It's the binomial name assigned to a species of an organism. Now, give the common name of the following scientific name of fruits. Let's begin with Musa Akuminata. What is the common name of Musa Akuminata? What is the answer? That's right. The common name of Musa Akuminata is banana. Next, what is the common name of Mangifera Indica? The answer is, you got it right. The common name of Mangifera Indica is Mango. Last, what is the common name of Ananas Comosus? The answer is, Commosis is pineapple. And for your performance test, follow the steps or procedures given. Find out how well you can perform how to process food with sugar concentration by accomplishing the performance criteria. Please do it with honesty and sincerity. It is your learning at stake. Unit of competency process foods by sugar concentration. Learning outcome prepare raw materials. Title of the activity sorting and grading of raw materials. Performance objective the learner independently demonstrates procedures of sorting and grading in preparing raw materials for sugar concentration. Supplies or materials. Vegetables used in sugar concentration available in your home or in your locality. Equipment or tools for pieces of containers. Steps or procedure. First, sort and grade good quality raw materials free from bruises and blemishes. Second, sort and grade the raw materials according to freshness and firmness. Third, Sort and grade the raw materials according to the uniformity of sizes and shapes. Four, sort and grade the raw materials according to class and variety of species. Fifth, wash and clean the raw materials after sorting and grading. And your performance 
will be evaluated using these rubrics. Now, based on our lesson, answer this question. What is the importance of preparing your raw ingredients? Very good! The importance of preparing your raw ingredient is to produce food without contamination. You should follow the reminders discussed earlier in preparing raw ingredients for concentrated sugar mixture. It is very important to prepare food safety to help stop harmful bacteria from spreading and growing. And the most important thing to help stop bacteria from spreading, especially now we are in pandemic, is to always wash your hands thoroughly before touching foods. Now let's have an activity. Write your answers in your activity notebook. Write through if the statement is correct and false. Alright, number one. Depend on what is seen by the eye only when selecting the raw materials. Number two. Different varieties of fruits have the same nutritive value. Volume. Number six, the amount of sugar needed to add will depend upon the acid and pectin content of the fruit juice. Number seven, wash fruits thoroughly with hot water before using. Number eight, fruits used in sugar concentration should have rich in flavor. Number nine, in acidity. And for the number 10, fully ripe fruits are best for junk and jelly making. Now let's check. Let's see if your answers are correct or not. Alright, number 1. Depend on what is seen by the eye only when selecting the raw materials. Exactly right. Number two, different varieties of fruits have the same nutritive value. That is correct. Number three, matured fruits contain more vitamin C. Very good. Number four, larger fruits contain more of their food value compared to inferior size. Exactly. Number five, fruits in a season have less nutritive value. That's great. Number six, the amount of sugar needed to add will depend upon the acid and pectin content of the fruit juice. You got it right. Number seven, wash fruits thoroughly with hot water before using. Very good. Number eight. Fruits used in sugar concentration should have rich in flavor. Exactly right. Number nine. Fruits differ in acidity. That is correct. And for the number ten, fully ripe fruits are best for chum and jelly making. That's great! How's your score class? Very good! And for your additional activity, list down products processed by sugar concentration that you had eaten or seen in the market. Identify the raw materials being used and write your answer in your application. And before I say goodbye, my dear learners, I would like to invite everyone to give thanks to our Almighty God for all the learnings that you gained from our today's lesson. Please bow your heads and let us pray. Dear God, 
We thank you for this wonderful day, sharing your love with our teacher and classmates. Thank you for the strength and excellence you gave us to learn and understand our lessons. Thank you to our teachers, parents, and classmates who shared to us the joy of learning. Amen. Stay positive, stay healthy. Goodbye.